welcome back to what I think is a 12 or 13 video in the series of this email, um, I guess emailer for Python beginners. Um, I We're almost done. Um, we've previously talked about you know creating an email, sending an email, sending it to multiple people, making sure you don't get rate limited, and all kinds of things. Um, and so the last thing we need to talk about is sending an email attachment. Um, and so let's pretend that I am Steve Jobs and this is my resume. Um, and so I looked online and this is the most recent resume I could find, which is quite interesting, 1973. So I guess it's quite old, but okay. So let's say this is my beautiful resume and I've added it here to my project as resume.pdf, which, you know, I think makes, makes sense. Um, and so we actually have a couple more things we need to do. Um, before, so you might notice that we forgot to write a body. So let's 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 add that real quick. Um, and so let's let's say my you know my body is hello, um, or you know can you get me a concern? I'm interested in working in your lab this summer, and I have attached my resume. You know best like Billy Bob Joe. It's, it's totally an example here, and obviously I think you should be a little more um, explanatory, of course, or you know, explain a little more about what you have to offer if you're actually trying to find a lab position, but you know, this is just an example in how to send an email, and I'm not here to talk about how to actually find a lab position. Um, and so we'll need to attach this body and so we actually need to encode our message as a special MIME text. And so we'll need to import the corresponding um, text as well. So I'll have to say import email.mime.text. And we'll say, you know, we got to attach the message.attach, and we have to attach our body. So email.mime.text.mime.text and then our body, and then we'll have to say plain. And what plain means is um, it's plain text. And you'll see that this is actually some very long words, and we don't want to do that. Um, that that's just too much typing. Um, so remember in almost like the third or fourth, when we first talked about libraries, um, I talked about you could use the from keyword. And so you see that we have this mime text that's part of this guy, so we'll just say from email.mime.text import mime text and we'll do the same thing for multi-part so import mime multi-part and we'll have to fix this um, because now multi-part is just in our space workspace and so we can just use it and same with mime text and so this will be a little easier for us to read um, and we'll also have to um, attach our file our resume and so in order to attach our resume, we have to use something called the base. So this is where things are getting spicy. So from email.mime.base, import mime base. And so we want to be able to open our file. And so the first thing we have to do is open our file, clearly. Um, and actually, we're going to be sending our email to our attachment to lots of people. And so we're going to open our file uh, before we start our for loop, so we don't have to open our file every single time we send an email. Rather, we only open our file at the beginning, and then we send it a bunch of times, and then we close it at the end. And this will save on our computer resources. And so we'll say, you know, um, my attachment, which is our resume. So we'll just say resume, and we'll open it, which is um, resume.pdf, and then we have to provide some options. So R is for read, we're reading the file. And normally you don't have to provide this, but we have to provide one more option, which is B, which stands for bytes, which basically means read the file not as a string, which is what we normally do, but read it as the special bytes inside the file, the, basically the code of the file. And so our resume is now loaded in, and we want to read our resume. And so we'll say, you know, attachment, is our resume being read oops and so now we can attach a resume using attachment and so we'll have to say you know um file maybe um 
we'll, we'll have to set up we'll have to set a file name um, and here we can say you know it's uh, resume.pdf and we'll have to set a mine base and so um, we can say you know I guess attachment uh, we've already used the variable attachment so we'll just say part part and then we'll say mine base and we have to define what kind of base it is and this time it's an application which is a type and our subtype is octet stream um, this is not really a programming thing this is more of how email is defined and so I'm not really going to explain exactly what this means um, but you can google it if you want on your own time it's explained pretty well by Wikipedia and we'll have to set our, our payload and in this case payload basically just means you know what are we attaching to this part of the email and um, what we're attaching is our attachment so we'll say a, you know, set the payload as the attachment um, and actually there's one more thing we have to import and that's the encoders um, so from email import encoders and so encoders is basically hey this is how I'm going to send my email it's a, it's a the way we we it's like languages basically um, you know how I speak to you in English and so I'll, we'll need to encode it um, as base 64 and we're encoding our part and finally we'll need to attach a header and so our header name is content disposition and the attachment that we're adding and on top of that we need to add a file name it's a file name equals and here we need to set this as a format string because we're going to insert here our file name uh, it doesn't really we could just directly write resume.pdf since we only use it once here uh, but i'm just going to write it here just so you can always change the file name easily if you wanted to if you just copied the code from this project okay and uh, finally we have to attach our actual attachment so message dot attach and then the part and so to go over what we just did here um, we had a file name we created a mime base and called it a part we set the payload over part to the attachment uh, which we created up here which is just a resume so we set the payload to a resume basically and then we encoded our part then we added a header and then we attached it to our email and that's basically it um, now when you send your email it'll attach this resume and it'll get sent and you know that's basically the end of this project um, and so in future videos if there are any we might talk about you know more advanced tactics adding loading bars but this is basically your entire project um, and being able to send you know emails you can change up the text as usual and yeah a very simple project and you know about 51 lines of code or less if you don't count the body and so yeah, that has been this project. It's going to be up on GitHub and you will be able to find it in the description. Thank you.